Today's vlog starts in Orford in Suffolk. Suffolk is my home county and I was back there for just a few days. It was a quick visit because I had a couple of things to sort out but mum and I had a free afternoon. We wanted to go for a walk so we decided to visit Orford. I hadn't been there for ages and I'd forgotten just how much I love it there. It's such an incredibly beautiful village. I did quite a bit of filming because it was the perfect weather for it. It was sunny, it was bitterly cold, but it was completely still. There was no wind at all and I don't think I've ever seen the water look so still. You'll be able to see from these clips, it just looked magical and I enjoyed every second there. lots of painting inspiration in Orford and I've tried to show you a few of the different buildings here. They also have the most amazing castle built between 1165 and 1173 by King Henry II. sections of my journey back to Surrey from Suffolk this time so you get an idea of what the journey's like. I have to get several different trains. I start at Woodbridge and get a small train into Ipswich where I change and get the intercity into London Liverpool Street. When I'm there, this part I didn't film, I have to get on the underground to Farringdon and then when I'm at Farringdon I get on the train to Surrey. I love how the scenery changes in this footage as we go through the rolling countryside and then we reach the outskirts of London and then fully into London just as I'm approaching Liverpool Street you can see all of the skyscrapers. There seems to be so much building going on in London at the moment. I'm on the train from Farringdon to Redhill in Surrey so this is the final stage of my journey and Dominic comes to pick me up from Redhill station which is a few miles from where we live but from the window of the train here you can see the Shard. This is the tallest building in the UK and it was completed in 2012. Most of the videos will be a mix of both cameras depending on the situation. I often find that this one is easier to use when I'm out and about because 
it's more discreet it's just quicker to pick up and shoot something and then put it away in my bag again when you're walking around with a tripod and a big camera on it you tend to get looked at a lot by people and I always feel really self-conscious while I do at the moment so um, I think I'll be using the Canon for indoor shots and the iPhone for um, just ease of filming when I'm out and about or even sometimes in the house because the camera seems really good on this and what was the other thing I was gonna say oh yes time lapse the iPhone is brilliant at shooting time lapses of my paintings as you can see it's already dark outside and it's only just gone four o'clock but I wanted to show you this desk because this is going to look a whole lot different the next time you see it and I also need to put away some other bits and pieces. All of this arrived while I was in Suffolk, this most enormous 100 metre roll of bubble wrap so that I can package the paintings. This is acid free tissue paper and I also have these. Now these are quite good because I have been using bubble envelopes which obviously have plastic inside and these, sorry about the bad lighting conditions in here, I can't even, I can't get into it, there we go, see they have like a corrugated paper in there so they protect whatever's inside so I'm going to be using these instead of bubble wrap um, envelopes now. Is that what they're called? You know what I mean. It's really getting so difficult to film on these November days because as soon as the sun goes in, you have problems with the light. So I've propped these up on the chair in front of the window just to show you some of the print orders. I've been trimming and signing and packaging this weekend. So lots of different ones. And these will all be going off plus some more that I'm in the middle of doing. They'll all be going off on Monday and Tuesday of this week. If I can get all of them done tomorrow, Monday, that would be brilliant, but we will see. But yeah, loads of different ones there. So that's all taking quite a bit of time. Update on the Studio Succulents. They are looking good. I think I'd go so far as to say they're thriving and let's have a look at the orchid the orchid is looking amazing this is actually dominic's orchid but it likes this room more than any other so it lives in here with me Day, Dominic and I looked up out of the living room window and we could see over the trees at the bottom of the garden the birds were doing the most beautiful dance there were just hundreds of them just swooping and swirling around they seem to do it a lot at this time of the year and I don't think anybody is completely sure why they're doing it whether it's just for fun or whether it's to practice for the migration but I noticed there were some geese doing the same thing in Orford so I'll insert that clip here as well Calling all angels high 
nothing says Christmas like a giant crab. It's quite fun filming in this mirror. <laughs>